Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality, and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations, ingredients, our Truth Skin Health products, something you may have heard about or read about, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number. We will get to your calls in our second segment. Today we have an interview at the bottom of the hour with Ed Learberger. Ed is the uh, CEO of Pure Hemp Technology, and he's got a really amazing product, a uh, cannabidiol product, a CBD product. Some of you guys know about CBD. Uh, cannabidiol has got some really, really, really powerful health benefits. It's used to treat seizure disorders, pain, cancer, anxiety issues. It's just phenomenal stuff, and I actually am carrying one of Ed's products on my website, brightsidehealth.com, Pure Kind Botanicals Help Extract, if you're a hemp extract, if you're dealing with arthritis or anxiety issues, if you know someone who's dealing with a seizure disorder, CBD is amazing stuff, and you want to check out our Pure Kind Botanicals Health extract on brightsidehealth.com. We're going to be talking to Ed Learberger at the bottom of the hour. So if you have questions about health or nutrition that you need help with, please call us in our second segment or we'll get to your calls in our second segment at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any longevity products, you can head over to my website's criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, or brightsideben.com. And of course, if you're interested in some super high-end connoisseur premium active, effective, therapeutic skin health products. If you're tired of spending money for products that don't work, if you've got a medicine cabinet that's filled with stuff that you bought and tried and nothing happened, and if you're giving up on skin health, uh, topical skin health products, you want to know about our Truth Treatment products, particularly our Retinol 5% Gel, as well as our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. Find out what thousands of people have already found out about our Truth Skin Health products. They work. They're powerful. They're gentle at the same time. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right. So we got Ed, Lerber, Ed Learberger from Pure Hemp Technology coming up at the bottom of the hour. We'll get your calls in our second segment. I want to uh, continue talking about connective tissue. We will be talking about it for a while. It's super important. It is the arguably the most important component of the body, at least in terms of the tissues. Arguably, everything's important. It's hard, you don't want to say one thing is important, but certainly a case could be made for the fact that the connective tissue, this flexible and supportive and electrical substance that not only supports and connects the body, but also feeds and oxygenates and detoxifies it, certainly a case can be made that this is really the key to health and wellness. Via the connective tissues, uh, connective tissue, it's not just it's not just the organs and the structures and the, and the large components of the body that are linked together. All the cells are linked together, uh, linked together via the connective tissue. The connective tissue is a fabric that actually weaves all of the cells together. And the connective tissue actually links the outside world to the cells. Via the connective tissue, we can control our cells. That's amazing, amazing stuff, folks. 
the our muscular movement, the a, a, a pressure on the connective tissue. This is where uh, body work come, becomes so important. The uh, all of uh, all these active kinds of, uh, of processes, movement and pressure. Even breathing, we can actually link to our cells. We can actually control our cells by this connective tissue bridge. As we move, the connective tissue moves, and this impacts each one of the 100 trillion cells in our body to which this, uh, the connective tissue is uh, connected, is linked. There's so much to talk about when it comes to the connective tissue. It's the most spiritual component of the body in the sense that it is our physiology's source of unity. It's our physiology's unifying force. It weaves everything into a whole. It's the site of action of energy healing, of acupuncture. It's an information processing system. It stores and conducts electrical charges. It processes information like a computer. It records emotional trauma. It records physical trauma. Massage therapists will tell you that when they work on the connective tissue, people sometimes will go through emotional issues. They'll, re they'll relive emotional traumas. They'll actually cry on the massage table. That's because as the connective tissue is being manipulated, emotional energies and emotional traumas and memories are being activated. When most of us think of connective tissue, we think of the joints, we think of the bones. Sometimes perhaps we'll think of the ligaments or the tendons, and for good reason, obviously, these are all connective tissue. If you're dealing with tendonitis, you got a connective tissue problem, carpal tunnel syndrome, tennis elbow, scoliosis, spinal discs, arthritis, and osteoporosis. These are all problems that are linked to the connective tissue. Even just general aging, the shriveling up that takes place as we get older, old people shrink. It's the connective tissue that is doing the shrinking. Older people tend to be hunched over. It's the connective tissue that is becoming tightened in the skin. If you're, a, if you're a skincare person, if you're a professional, a skincare professional, an esthetician, or you're a dermatologist, you're very familiar with the connective tissue. Many of the signs of skin aging are about the connective tissue. The connective tissue gets hardened in the skin. This causes wrinkles. Many of the therapies, skin peels and surgical procedures, facelifts, plastic surgeries are about the connective tissue. And if you're a consumer, many of your complaints about skin aging, including wrinkles and turkey neck and fine lines, are about the connective tissue. Also the thinning that's associated with the aging process in the skin, that can also be a connective tissue problem. You think this is important stuff, folks? This is why we've been talking about it for three months now, or two months or so. But there's health challenges that we deal with that we don't even think about as connective tissue based. And classic among these misunderstood health challenges that uh, are about the connective tissue involve the circulatory system, the blood, the lymph, the veins, the arteries, and the heart itself are all dependent on connective tissue for optimal health functioning. That's why if you use supplements for your arthritis, you're going to improve your heart function. If you use supplements for your joints, connective tissue building supplements like bone soup or bone broth protein for your joints, you're going to have better cardiovascular functioning. Stenosis, uh, uh, stenosis and sclerosis and narrowing of the blood vessels are about the connective tissue. Heart valve problems are about the connective tissue. Arrhythmias are about the connective tissue. Heart disease in general is largely a connective tissue problem. Yes, heart disease, a leading cause of death in this country and around the world, is in many ways about the connective tissue. Same with blood clots and thromboses and embolisms. If you have heart disease, you're probably seeing a cardiologist, and the odds are very slim that he's going to be addressing your issue as a connective tissue problem. His odds are very slim he's even thinking about the connective tissue. That's because he's not listening to the bright side. You know more about how your heart functions and about the structural, structural elements of your cardiovascular system than your cardiologist if you're listening to this program. You're probably going to, if you've got heart disease, you're probably going to get put on a, a protocol that will address the mechanics of the heart with things like stents and angioplasties and balloons and bypasses. Your heart may be poisoned with beta blockers and calcium channel blockers and other toxic pharmacology. If you're particularly unfortunate and your cardiologist is especially simple-minded, he may burn your heart with an electrical current in a procedure called an ablation which in my opinion is the most barbaric and ignorant of all medical strategies, but nobody's going to be thinking about your connective tissue. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're coming back with more good health information and your phone calls on the bright side right after this. Okay, we're back. 
back on the bright side. I am pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We will get your calls in this segment, and we're going to have an interview. We're going to be talking to Ed Learberger of Pure Hemp Technology uh, LLC here in Colorado. Uh, they have uh, licensing rights to convert industrial hemp into hemp-based products, and they've got some pretty serious machinery. His factory is about a, a block long or a block wide, if you will. I've known uh, Ed and his brother. His brother used to work for me, uh, Carl Learberger, for uh, 20 years now. I've known Carl anyway. And I've, I'm carrying Ed's product on my website, brightsidehealthproducts.com, because I have seen the most incredible, I'm sorry, brightsidehealth.com, brightsidehealth.com, pure kind botanicals hemp extract. I'm carrying it on my website because I've seen the incredible results from it. And I'm not exaggerating. I don't put anything on my website that I don't believe is incredible. If, you, if it's just average, you're not going to see it on brightsidehealth.com. It has to be incredible, and this stuff is truly incredible. For pain, uh, I've seen amazing results for pain and as well as for seizure disorders, and we're going to have Ed talking about his product as well as about CBD in general. He's somewhat of an expert on uh, cannabinoids. We'll be talking to him in the, bottom of the, uh, in the bottom of the hour. So get your calls here this segment, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of my Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com. And, of course, if you'd like to join the Brightside Ben team and help uh, change the world with nutritional supplementation, start a business with the longevity products. If you're an entrepreneur or you're entrepreneurially minded, if being an entrepreneur sounds like a sounds fun, and it is a lot of fun. I've been an entrepreneur most of my adult life. The last job I had was back in 1993. I haven't worked a job in 23 years, a regular job. And the entrepreneurial life, it really is rewarding, it's exciting, and it's not for everybody. But if you are an entrepreneur, and you know what I'm talking about, if you're an entrepreneur, you're entrepreneurially minded, you really want to check out the longevity products and the longevity system, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, and they can give you the scoop. You can also sign up right off our websites and purchase Young Jeffy products right off the websites, uh, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Good morning, Joe in Tennessee. Hi. What's up? Hey, Joe. Hi. Hi, What's Pharmacist up? Ben Q. How are you? I'm good. What's going on in Tennessee? Where are you in Tennessee, by the way? First I'm of all. in Memphis in an area called Whitehaven. Memphis, Tennessee. I saw this thing on the Food Channel about a barbecue joint in Memphis that hasn't changed their grease since 1920 something. Do you know what I'm talking oh about? <laughs> <laughs> they have kept the grease since 1920 because it's got lots of flavor, apparently. I couldn't believe that. Oh but that's God. when I think of Memphis, that's what I think of. No, I shouldn't I'm... probably shouldn't though. But anyway, <laughs> what's what's going on, Joe? Okay, I've got my twenty eight year old son. His name is Jeremy. Here he is. Oh yeah, um, I'm suffering with high, and uh, any time I have like too much sugar, uh, I start an outbreak for hives. I was wondering if there's anything I could do for that. All right? Did you say you're suffering from hives, and every time you eat too much sugar, you 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 get itchy, you get the hives, right? Is that what I heard you say? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. All right. Well, first of all, stop eating the sugar. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> That's like a that you just you just put a fastball right down the middle, man. That thing's going over the fence. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to hit that yeah. thing out of the park. Stop eating the sugar. You answered your own question. And I'm I'm playing with you a little bit. I'm teasing you a little bit, but only a little bit because this is how we think. We don't realize that there are these simple strategies and simple solutions. If, if you know, not always, but many times, there's these simple ideas. Stop eating the sugar, and you're going to feel better. And by the way, I didn't catch your name, sir. Uh, Jeremy. Jeremy. Okay. So first of all, you're going to stop eating the sugar. That's obvious. You got to stop eating the sugar. So, but that's easier said than done, of course, because we're addicted to sugar, and bread is sugar, and pasta is sugar, etc. Rice and potatoes are sugar. So more protein is the easiest way to wean yourself off of the sugar. Now you can't go crazy on the protein, but get yourself some of my bone broth protein. Which, by the way, the bone broth protein that I'm selling at BrightSideHealth.com, it's got a sweet flavor to it. So it can get you. It can get you off your. It, it can help wean you off of sugar, and it'll get you a whole bunch of quality protein as well. Whey protein will do it too. Uh, the Slender FX and the Keto FX. So, 
try to wean yourself into more protein, especially if you can find a protein that's got a little sweetness to it, like a stevia sweetness, not sugar sweetness, but stevia sweetness, uh, and that will help. You can also use things like eggs and, and meat. Those are also good high-protein foods that will help wean you off of sugar. You can use something called the BCAAs. That stands for Branched Chain Amino Acids. Now, whey protein and, and any good source of protein will have some BCAAs in it, but you can get BCAA capsules at the health food store, and that's good for weaning off of sugar. Ooh. There's also an amino acid called glutamine, G-L-U-T-A-M-I-N-E. Do about half a teaspoonful twice a day, once or twice a day. That can help wean you off of sugar. All right? So getting off of sugar is job number one. The second strategy is helping your body process sugar. Use the sweeties from Longevity. Use the B complex, particularly B1 and B3. You'll find those in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Make sure you're getting your selenium, the very important for sugar. The selenium actually can act like insulin, and many people are selenium deficient. Maybe two or two to four hundred, well, probably about four hundred or so micrograms a day. You can go up as to six hundred micrograms a day. Find that in our ultimate selenium. Zinc is also very important for sugar metabolism. Zinc uh, picolinate. Now. Uh, P-I-C-O-L-I-N-A-T-E, picolinate, 50 milligrams a day. That's five zero. Now, you may find some other foods that are also linked. It might not just be sugar. It might be food toxins or food allergies. And so you might want to do a food diary. Start off by fasting for a couple of days. Your itching will just your itching will go away within 24 to 48 hours if you fast for two or three days, one to three days, 24 to 72 hours. And then when you start... Uh, eating again, eat very carefully. Just pick one food, eat it, and see what happens. And chances are pretty good if you pick a food that you eat a lot of, that you eat all the time, that it's going to be associated with itching. And then you, you keep a little list of foods that are associated with itching or digestive problems, bloating and gas and diarrhea, and then you're going to eliminate those foods. And then, of course, you want to make sure you're on a, a, a well-rounded nutritional supplement program like our Healthy Start Pack. And make sure you're using essential fatty acids under conditions of EFA, essential fatty acids to fat fatty acid deficiency the skin will be much more sensitized and much more likely to be itchy and rashy i know i gave you a ton of information there jeremy i hope it helped you out do you have anything else you want to add what about gain, gain losing weight yeah. uh yeah what um uh, well i'm trying to get down 80 pounds you will lose yeah. weight with this protocol that i just gave you you're probably not handling sugar correctly and when sugar is not handled correctly it gets stored as fat now, when you say lose weight, I imagine, I, I'm assuming you mean losing fat, right? Not, not necessarily the number. You want to lose body fat, correct? Yes, sir. That's sugar, my friend. So you got a sugar problem. Now, there's more, there's more that you can do, but it sounds like you got a sugar problem, Jeremy, with all due respect. So uh, do everything I just told you to do, especially using those nutrients that help wean you off of sugar. That's very, very important. i got to motivate. I'm going to get one more call in, okay, uh, Joe and Jeremy? Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. God bless you both. Okay. Truth Raider, what's going on, man? The sun always shines on the bright side. Good morning, pharmacist Ben. Good morning. Yes, hey, sir. I want to find out this is about prostate health. I didn't get a chance to ask this question last week. I just only had a chance to do a diatribe, and then, then you had a you had a jump. No diatribe. We're going to run out of time. Right, right. Prostate health. Is this normal? I'm sitting here doing work on my computer, nothing to do with any type of arousal and stimulation. It was just business. Okay. And I felt a deep and tickling sensation. Is that normal? Do you uh, got a friend over there or something? No, no, nothing no? at all. No stimuli. No nothing. stimuli? Uh, maybe your kitty? Was it your cat? No. <laughs> Sometimes, but no, not this time. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> so is that right, no. Hey, I don't know, Truth Raider, but uh, if you got a tickling down there, I don't know. That's kind of... For no reason. This... <laughs> Truth right, we gotta go. Call me tomorrow, okay, man? <laughs> All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. This is. All right, we are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben, 844. Uh, actually, hold on, hold on to that phone number for tomorrow if you have calls or questions, because in this segment of the bright side, we are going to be speaking to a friend of mine, Ed Learberger, who's the CEO of Pureham Technology. Uh, he's a businessman who's been in the biorefining business for many years, doing cellulose biorefining. His brother, Carl, wor used to work for me. He was one of my chief scientists. And uh, I got a hold, of, and Carl got a hold of me a couple of years ago and, and told me about his new project. The uh, Pure Hemp Technologies was created to uh, apply some of these cellulose biorefining processes to the hemp business. And long story short, I ended up uh, working with uh, Ed's uh, Pure Hemp Technologies 
hemp extract, which is a, a rich source of something called CBD. We'll let Ed talk about it. Please welcome to the right side, my friend, Ed Learberger. What's up, Ed? Hello. How are you, Ben? Good Thanks to talk to you. Yeah, good to talk to you. Thanks for uh, joining us uh, on the bright side. So, uh, tell us a little bit about your. Uh, first of all, tell us a little bit about how you got into the hemp business, but very little because I want to talk about specifically about CBD and hemp. So, just real, real briefly, how did you get into uh, the hemp business, and a little bit about your process and your machinery? Sure. So we developed a process known as continuous countercurrent reactions. Uh, which is just a fancy word to describe how we process typically biomass, uh, which is composed of things like corn stalks, wheat straw, and after Colorado legalized industrial hemp, we started processing hemp stalks in our reactor. And uh, we've been uh, doing very well converting stalks and, and underutilized biomass into uh, raw materials to make consumer and industrial products. That is awesome. So or, under ordinary circumstances, things like corn stalks and hemp would be too fibery to be used. They're too, they're too inert. You can't really do anything with them. But, according, but based on your process, you've managed to convert this inert, fibery material into active stuff that people can use, correct? Is that, that's correct. Explain that well? Okay, that's, that's awesome. Correct. So you, what you've done with the hemp is you just took the technology that you were doing with that you were using for cellulose and you just applied it to hemp to create uh, active ingredients from hemp. And of course, hemp is just loaded with active material. Yes, and in our pursuit of processing hemp, we began to experiment taking the flowers that contain the cannabinoids, and the cannabinoids are active ingredients found in very few plants, but they're abundant in the uh, cannabis plant, and they're known to have healing qualities to the human body. And so we've been able to successfully extract those cannabinoids into an oil and then uh, infuse that oil to make hemp extract products. Now, who else is using this process? Anybody? Well, we've developed a unique process, but there's many processes that you can use to extract cannabinoids uh, from the hemp flowers. Uh, well, when we I went to see your machine, when I went to see your machine, though, that thing is state of the. I mean, that's a unique thing, right? There's okay, not. Okay, so yeah, let me explain that just for a minute. The machine that we developed and patented, uh, the CCR continuous countercurrent reactor is not the same machine that we use to extract the cannabinoids from the flowers. Mm. So that, that machine that you've seen has uh, been our workhorse to take not the flowers, but the stalks. And we typically turn those stalks into pulp, and we've taken that pulp and we've made paper uh, and paper products. We've also made hemp-based uh, concrete additive to make a hempcrete, and we're looking at a number of other applications for the hemp pulp. So this and is somewhat, it, this is somewhat revolutionary, no? Oh, there's no doubt. Uh, this is a really a breakthrough technology, and uh, what the pulp and paper industry has used over the many decades is craft pulping that takes anywhere from two to three hours in a, a hot soak of uh, typically wood chips to make paper. And what they do in two to three hours, we're doing in a continuous fashion in four minutes with our reactor. Okay, so how did you go from paper and from other consumer, uh, other consumer basic consumer kinds of goods into CBD? How, okay. how, how did you make the jump? Sure. You know, that, that was quite a transition. And in the world of refining uh, corn stalks and wheat straw and wood and more recently hemp stalks, uh, there's not uh, a lot of money in the products. Products are sold by the ton. Uh, pulp to make paper is sold anywhere from 800 to $1,200 a ton. Now, in the world of cannabinoids, these products are sold by the gram. So uh, it was an economical decision that we made 
uh, in the in the, historically since the '60s, uh, people have been evolving the cannabis plant to have more and more THC, mm-hmm. which is the active ingredient that gets people high. Uh, industrial hemp typically doesn't have much THC. THC is one of the many cannabinoids found in in the cannabis plant. And so the, the, the most active cannabinoid in industrial hemp and the most profound cannabinoid is, is called cannabidiol, or CBD. And, this, and, and when, you're, when you're talking active, you're, you ain't kidding. That stuff is absolutely phenomenal, and I've been blown away by the results of it. But what is it about your pure uh, kind botanicals hemp extract that's special that, uh, about the CBD content and about the product itself? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a great question because uh, a number of companies now are making uh, CBD extracts and putting it in different branded products. So it took us over a year to figure out a very pure and delicate way to extract the cannabinoids from the flowers. And uh, we looked very carefully at uh, a number of methods. Uh, The most profound and popular method is a supercritical CO2 method. We looked at propane and butane extraction methods, and we finally gravitated toward using an ethanol extraction method. And uh, there's a few reasons for that. One, uh, we're using uh, pharmaceutical grade ethanol to do the extractions, and we have developed a very good recovery system where we're recovering over 90% of the ethanol to reuse that. But more importantly, we've developed a process that's very kind to the botanicals, and it doesn't disrupt them. And what that has resulted in is a much better uh, uh, quality product. And this isn't something that we discovered. It's really been observed by the people that are using our products. And uh, uh, Ben, you have a little personal history with that yourself. So I have, I have a personal history. That's why I was telling the listeners is that I don't carry anything on my website unless I personally verify its potency. We'll talk about some of its benefits when we come back from our break. We're talking to Ed Learberger from Pure Hemp Technologies about Pure Kai Botanicals Hemp Extract. Check out brightsidehealth.com if you want more information on the product. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Ed Learberger of Pure Hemp Technologies about uh, his product and my product via my website, brightsidehealth.com, Pure Kind Botanicals Hemp Extract. You can find it at Brightside Health. Uh, brightsidehealth.com. Uh, Ed, so before we went to break, we were talking about some, some of the actual benefits associated with pure kind botanicals hemp extract. As you mentioned, I've had, I've seen things specifically for pain and also for seizure disorders, but CBD has got all kinds of tremendous benefits. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how CBD, about some of CBD's specific benefits for the body? Sure. So we, as, as a species, are learning more and more about cannabinoids, and specifically CBDs. And what we've learned is our bodies have cannabinoid receptors. So that has come from probably thousands or hundreds of thousands of years of infusing uh, uh, flowers and cannabinoids into our bodies. And now we're able to receive those cannabinoids that are known to have healing qualities. Uh, But I do want to remind all the listeners, this is not a medicine. These are not drugs. These are literally plants that grow and uh, oils that are extracted from those plants that are known to have healing qualities. Now, Herbs, basically. It's just like herbs. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, the most common uh, ailment that's been publicized uh, tremendously in the last three or four years are people with uh, seizure, seizures, and uh, CBDs are known to help uh, uh, people with seizures, and it's uh, widely publicized. But what we're finding out 
cannabinoids also help many other ailments. Well, hang on. On the seizures, I want you to emphasize, and I want to emphasize to the listeners, this isn't just anecdotal and people telling stories. This is hardcore medical literature. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, you, can just, you can just research CBD and seizures, and you'll see all kinds of scientific, peer-reviewed journal articles on the stuff. So this is not some kind of hippy-dippy thing. This is hardcore science. In fact, drug companies, correct, correct me if I'm wrong, eh? drug companies are looking into the seizure, anti-seizure properties of these things, of the cannabinoids. Uh, there's no question. Uh, factually, cannabinoids, and specifically CBDs, are known to heal ailments, and seizures are just one of those ailments. And, you know, we don't go around telling people uh, about the healing benefits, but uh, there is so much information. There are so many testimonials, and people really just need to Google, for instance, back pain CBDs. And you put those words into uh, Google, and you will find just enormous volumes of literature, testimonials, and information about the healing qualities of CBDs. Okay, now I know we got to be really careful with this because drug companies and doctors in the medical model, they, they want to own illness and they want to own the cures. So you got to be really careful what you say. But keeping that in mind, one of the most astounding and, and really mind-blowing benefits of CBDs involve cancer. Okay, so now, now keeping in mind that, that the doctors own cancer, right? And the drug Correct. companies own cancer. That's their property, and you cannot encroach on their property. Keeping that in mind, how would you how would you describe some of the benefits uh, of CBD when it comes to dealing with cancer? Well, you know what what I'll do is refer to an actual uh, circumstance when someone heard about our botanical products, and they visited us. They drove up uh, about. Uh, 500 miles from New Mexico to visit our headquarters in Fort Lupton, Colorado. Uh, this gentleman had a kidney removed, and he had a tumor bigger than his kidney also removed. And he was a, a, a late cancer uh, patient, and he did not look well at all. He had never taken any kind of cannabis, cannabis in his life. Uh, we told him about the potential benefits uh, of our product, and that day was the first day he ever infused uh, CBDs into his body. That was about six months ago. Uh, we've been very close with this gentleman since then, and he has steadily gotten better. He hasn't taken any kind of Western medicine. He has only taken uh, CBDs, and this has helped uh cure his ailment significantly. Now he's a true believer. He's actually helping us promote this for other people in need. So this is just a, a, a real life situation. Uh, and we're not, we're not making any crazy claims here, folks. But the fact is, is that many people get benefits for dealing with, with tumors and, and neoplasms and, and other, other signs of cancer from CB, uh, CBDs and pure kind botanicals, hemp extract included. Um, not that we're saying anything cures cancer. And that's not the point here. The point is that you can get tremendous health benefits with this stuff. How about for anxiety? Yes, it, it helps many ailments, including anxiety depression, insomnia, and these are just experiences people have had. And, you know, we all uh, use medicine from time to time. Some of us use medicine daily. Uh, but if there's an opportunity to use a natural plant to heal and, and help heal ailments, uh, it's worth trying. And uh, by all means, uh, this is something that the world is just beginning to become intimately aware of. And I believe during the next 10 years, there will be so much information mm -hmm. about the vast healing benefits of uh, CBDs. Are you, so we're really at that front edge of, of exploring that and promoting that. Are you concerned about the drug companies taking over and, and making it more difficult for people like yourself to make the stuff? You know, that, that's a tough question to answer. You know, the drug companies and the pharmaceutical companies really have strongholds, but they have to go through a lot of testing before they can claim it's a drug. 
And uh, what we're seeing here is a little industry that's starting, and we're promoting CBD products, but not as drugs, as dietary supplements. And uh, so the the drug companies definitely want to keep their strong hand in this business, and they would probably not like to see uh, the the proliferation of CBDs unless they were strictly uh, uh, monitored and so forth. So okay, yeah. so so practically speaking, somebody's got anxiety issues, seizure disorders, chronic pain, etc., uh, dealing with cancer, whatever. How, practically speaking, what do they do? They go to Brightside Health Products, uh, BrightsideHealth.com, BrightsideHealth.com. Get the Pure Kind Botanicals Hemp Extract. It comes in the mail. What do they do? Yeah, sure. Uh, so we make this uh, product, and I just want to mention to your listeners, uh, we only use uh, industrial hemp that's grown in organic soil, and thus far all this hemp has been grown in Colorado, 100% legal, and we use uh, our this oil and in, in, uh, combine it with an organic uh, medium chain uh uh, uh, or uh, I'm sorry, triglyceride, um, MCT, triglyceride, MCT, um, coconut oil, and so those are the only two ingredients in the products. And you simply put these uh, this oil on your skin, or you can put a few drops under your tongue. And what we recommend is start with using three to five drops under your tongue once a day, and see how your body reacts. Uh, you won't get any kind of sensation as far as like getting high. You really won't feel much of anything at all. Won't make you dizzy. Won't make you sleepy. But it will begin to align your central nervous system, and it will begin to hopefully have healing effects to your body. And then it affects everybody differently. So uh, with time, over a week, uh, we hope that whatever ailment you might have, you'll begin to notice some changes. And then one bottle should last at least a couple of months. And uh, we, have, we, we have two formulations. One is, is a, uh, a maintenance formulation of 250 milligrams of CBD per one-ounce bottle. And then for people with acute discomfort, uh, we have a bottle, a one-ounce bottle that has six times more CBDs in it, which is... 1,500 milligrams per one-ounce bottle. And uh, between those two products, many people have been uh, really enjoying our product. Especially for pain relief, I want to add, we've been talking to Ed Learberger of Pure Hemp Technologies. Thanks so much, Ed. I'm going to talk to you soon, okay? I'll give you a call later today, buddy. Okay, thank you. All right, that's my friend Ed Learberger, uh, CEO of Pure Hemp Technologies. If you want to check out our uh, his products, it's you can uh, take a look at our website, brightsidehealth.com, brightsidehealth.com, Pure Kind Botanicals Hemp Extract. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Tomorrow we'll continue talking connective tissue and the heart and how you can strengthen your heart using things like glucosamine and high hyaluronic acid and vitamin C and other connective tissue building supplements. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.